Hey guys, Jacob here from uh, Jacob Smoke Alarm Reviews and more. Today we're going to try Wee Bowling on an RCA XL100. And I'm still trying to figure out the color. I mean, it doesn't work well, but I mean, it's something. This is on an RCA uh, 100 at uh, 100. XL100. So, we're trying to figure out how good this is. Wow! <laughs> this is actually holding up pretty well. The color seems legit. Like, it's actually there. And I wonder if you can just completely remove color. And I haven't played through a VHS system through complex wiring. And I'll show you how that is done after this bowling game. And not bad as speakers as well. And this can support this game right here. Uh, Wii Sports. And the Wii. Just imagine watching a uh, Mr. Beast video on this. You can actually do that. Dang. That was completely my fault. There we go, and a strike. And bam. Dang. Don't you hate it when you accidentally do that? But the amazing thing is it actually has color. You can adjust the volume. And we can, uh... Or it'll accept frequencies. Two to thirteen, four to eight, fourteen eighty-three. Oh, whoops! That was completely my fault. But I have to run it through this RC, uh, through this VHS, this Panasonic VHS. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to convert the uh, audio sig, the uh, the RGA. Uh, I think it's RGA, right? But I have the color set to where it feels the most comfortable, but... This just looks wild right here. Minus 25? What? All right. Didn't I tell you guys I was going to show you how all of this cool stuff worked? Well, let's turn down the radio volume. I don't want to get copyrighted by the bots. Especially in this really cool video. And rare footage of a... Uh... And I can show you. On the, on the back here, we have your standard uh, output right here. Um, you got your out to TV going into this, uh, RFC, uh, to this, uh, splitter. That looks like it's pretty cool. I mean, it is pretty cool. And special thank you to, uh, Timmy73 for helping me. And this is just your ordinary Wii right here. Just plugged into there. This is my TV that I currently play everything on. And let's see it's a uh, shutdown sequence here. Well, that's pretty cool. And if we flip this little switch right here, it goes on to this red frequency that's sw that's uh, swiping for these frequencies right here. 
I believe if we press play. We can see Shrek. On the TV. But if we press stop. We go back to Wii Sports. We press play if we want to watch Shrek. And we press home. And if we want to eject our, our uh, little disc here, we can. That's going to show up as nothing. As you will see right here. No disc. This is a very cool thing and I can't wait to find out what else I can do with this. And if we just click the channel up. There's one thing I'm curious about. What does this little switch right here do for going from A to B? I'll have to have Timmy help me with that again. Because he never told me what this does. I don't know if that switches from like something digital to analog or something. But if you, I know if you turn it off, you just get back to the white screen, right? Yes. Let's actually get a picture of that. Because, you know, that actually looks pretty freaky. Ooh. You're just casually going about your business. The TV. The TV. No, 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 no. Line one is the Wii. I think line two is that front one right there. All in all, this is really... Let's turn up the volume a little bit. Well, let's turn on the lights. They're not living cavemen. I know that. And yes, I am filming this in the garage. Because this is where I've had everything stationed. Oh, oh you know what? Who cares? Actually, really good audio. I would think so. And this is a genuine RCA XL100 made in 1985. The uh, the VHS. I I don't know when that's from. That's probably from sometime. Yeah, this other TV you can hook directly into a uh, uh, RCA. Or, I don't know. I think it's called RCA, but I call it AVI or analog. But no, analog. Not It's not analog. This is actually newer than this uh, garage right here. Newer than that door, newer than the Corvette. Car enthusiast extreme. It's actually very good on here. Picture quality, at least. Well, I mean, it's not the greatest picture quality, but I mean, it's the best you're gonna get out of a 
very old TV. But I had to test it out with something. And the Wii was a perfect fit. Because, you know, you have lots of space in the garage. And I am doing strangely terrible today. There we go. Let's uh, quit before I lower my bowling score anymore. Let's, and that's gonna be doing it. Anyways, guys, bye.